All right, good morning, Robinson. This is Mr. Burns. I'm going to do the uh, Unit 7 Judicial Branch Vocabulary, and you should have this Google Slides presentation out uh, so that you can work on this kind of as I go, or you can pause it as you need to. Um, the first word that we're going to talk about today on your slides is interpret. Interpret is the main power that the judicial branch has over laws. They are allowed to interpret and review the laws, that'd be a good synonym for this word, and to determine if the, these laws follow the Constitution or if they violate it, and then they could strike it down as unconstitutional. All right, the second word is really important, it's jurisdiction, and uh, think of it as authority or power that the court has over to hear a certain case. Um, the jurisdiction that police have might be like Fairfax County police have, have jurisdiction over Fairfax County. Well, the court would have a uh, type of jurisdiction over a case. Is it original? Can they hear it for the first time? Or is it appellate? Can they hear it uh, if it's appealed and reviewed? Or do they have limited original, which is a power only of the Supreme Court? Can they hear a case the first time in special circumstances? Okay. All right, third word and fourth word go together, felony and misdemeanor. A felony is a more serious crime crime that if you do get convicted, uh, you would spend more than a year in jail. So we're thinking of things like murder and arson and uh, terrorism and sh uh, grand theft auto and um, you know kidnapping, things of these natures, you know, things that are very serious. Uh, it could also be, you know, more white collar crimes like embezzlement or, um, you know, fraud. Misdemeanors, minor crimes, you know, maybe shoplifting or, you know, something like of that nature uh, where it's, you know, maybe minor drug possession, Mis misbehavior, less than a year in jail, maybe not even a jail sentence, maybe just more of a fine or community service that's mandatory. That would be misdemeanor. All right, a defendant on the next page. Uh, defendant is a person who is who is defending himself. So they're accused of the crime or if it's a civil, in a criminal case. And if it's a civil case, they are being sued uh, by someone. So they're defending themselves. In, in that case, a plaintiff in a civil case is someone who is is taking that action and filing a lawsuit and suing someone because of you know some reason. Maybe they you know that person uh, crashed into them, didn't have insurance, and now they have a couple thousand dollars worth of damage on their car. So they might take them to court and, and sue them for that money. The next two words kind of go together as well. The arraignment is part of the criminal law process. And when a defendant is uh, kind of formally charged by the judge, they, they write, read their charges, and then they enter a plea, their lawyer is present. Uh, they might say if they're guilty or not guilty. If they plead guilty, they don't get a trial. Uh, they just get sentenced at a, at a future date. If they say that they are not guilty, then they would get a trial. And uh, hopefully they would win the case and be proven not guilty. Um, a plea is how a defendant answers that question. You know, the judge will ask him that question. Uh, do you, you know, how do you plead? The, and you would say guilty or not guilty. You could say no contest. I'm not sure what that, you know, if that replies to this class. But we're talking about guilty versus not guilty and whether you want to have a trial or not. Okay. Um, the next two words also go together. They deal with money. So bail and compensation. Bail is money that you pay if you're accused of a crime so that you can be released on your own outside of uh, prison. And uh, it's a promise that you're going to return for your arraignment and return for all your court dates. If you do, you get the, your, you or your family will get the money back. Uh, if you don't, you'll skip bail and you would uh, not get the money back and you would get um, more charges added to you. But uh, a bail you know, being that promise, right? Compensation is the money that if you're suing someone that you are seeking in that lawsuit. So if you are wrongfully terminated from a job or involved in some kind of accident, a workplace accident or, you know, a car accident or something of that, of that nature, and you're suing someone, uh, that would be the amount of money you are seeking, the compensation. Are you being fairly compensated? Okay. Uh, due process, we've talked about Fifth and Fourteenth Amendments. Um, protection from the government from treating you unfairly, unfair actions and laws. You have certain rights, you have certain due process rights that the government must uh, adhere to. And if they do not, then you could, um, you know, you could file a lawsuit against the government that your due process rights are violated. So think of things like not being charged with the same crime twice, not having to act as a witness against yourself in court, uh, making sure that you are, your rights are read to you and you have a lawyer present. 
um, and making sure that you know you can if you can't afford one one is provided for you an attorney uh, probable cause is the next one this is something that the police must have to arrest someone they can't just you know say I have a hunch I'm gonna arrest someone they have to have some reason why you know to uh, you know did they see something that was suspicious when they arrested you uh, did you make a suspicious phone call or uh, do something suspicious that would lead them to believe that you are violating the law? All right, last page. These kind of four kind of go together. Uh, the verdict in a criminal or civil trial is the decision. Are you guilty or not guilty? So think of the word decision or answer at the end of the case. Uh, that in a bench trial, the judge would give, in a jury trial, the jury would, would come up with, which must be unanimous for the jury. All 12 have to agree. All right. Conviction is uh, another way of saying someone is guilty of a crime. They are convicted. They are going to get sentenced and given a punishment uh, for that crime by the judge. The jury can suggest the punishment, but ultimately the judge provides the punishment. Acquittal is the opposite. Acquittal and conviction are opposites. Acquittal means not guilty to be set free. You are free of charges. You are found not guilty. You are acquitted. Right? If you are guilty, uh, if you know, if you as a defendant are guilty, you have the right to appeal that case, to have a higher court listen to the trial, but not really to retry you. It's more for were any legal errors made. Was there something that was a little shady that went on during the trial that maybe made it unfair? Uh, now, if you are found not guilty, the state can appeal that decision in, in many cases um, to a higher court to have them review it as well. If it's something that they really thought you were guilty and you were found not guilty. So that could happen as well. All right. I hope this was helpful. Uh, complete the vocab uh, Google Slides by the due date. And there will, remember, there's always a quiz on the day that this is due, and you can check Schoology for that due date um, if, if needed. And if you have any questions about the vocab, please let me know, and I will help you out the best I can. Thank you.